And now for our short fictional dramatic story of someone helping me. You know, this happened, it was before COVID, okay? I got this impulse that I was going to have this huge party in my house, like 150 people. And I don't have that big of a house. But I have a small yard in it. And I decided I want to do it. So I hired like four college students to help me out. And I spent days like planning the menu and all that stuff. And so then it came to the day of the party. And there was much too much food to fit in my fridge. So they sent it to me in these sealed containers with dry ice. And one of the things I make is this fruit punch. And it requires orange sorbet. Okay, and the container with the orange sorbet, I had kind of peeked in. I saw a container of sorbet, and I closed it again because I wanted to protect the dry ice and everything. And we got to the time, and I had this the time all planned when I had to start, and the students had to help me and all that. And I opened the container of sorbet for the fruit punch, and I took out the sorbet, and I discovered that underneath the sorbet was frozen salmon that I hadn't ordered. And I'm like, salmon? How am I going to make fruit punch with salmon? And of course, this was a late night party, and the place was already closed, and I couldn't order more sorbet. And my friend Hilda, she came up and she said, I'm going to cook the salmon for you and make it into little hors d'oeuvres. And she did. She made it all into little bite-sized pieces with the toothpicks in them. And so it all worked out, and we had a very small amount of fruit punch, which was sad. But... It worked out, and I was so grateful that my friend helped me.